I love that LEGO Harry Potter advent calendars have become a mainstay of the Christmas season. Or... August, I guess. This will be the fifth year in a row that we've gotten such an advent calendar, and this time around it focuses specifically on the very winter-appropriate location of Hogsmeade Village. There's plenty of new prints, exclusive minifigures, and fun side builds to enhance your wizarding world. So hey, let's take a closer look. The Harry Potter advent calendars have always done a good job of having a unique and consistent theme throughout each of their 24 days. The first calendar gave us a variety of Christmas decorations for the Great Hall, the second focused on the Yule Ball, the third was a simple board game based on the Sorcerer's Stone, last year's also gave the game formula a bash, but this time with builds representing all eight movies. And that brings us to this year with the return of the more standard accessories. The game-oriented calendars definitely make far better standalone sets, but I like how this style of calendar used here in 2023 can help enhance the sets you already own and helps fill in those interiors that some of the main play sets so often leave a bit too empty. But of course, I know most of us are here for those minifigures, so let's take a look at those. We get the trio, each in their outfits from their trip to Hogsmeade. It's great to get them in new and distinct costumes, and all three figures are exclusive to this set. We also get Draco Malfoy from the snowball fight scene. He's a great addition here too, and that hat just works perfectly. The only repeat figure here is Madame Rosmerta from 2021's Hogsmeade Village visit. Technically, she's new because she uses grey pants this time around instead of black. Her inclusion makes sense for the Hogsmeade theme, and since she was originally exclusive to a more expensive set from two years ago, I don't think people will be too upset to see her included here. The highlight of the set though has to be our first Aberforth Dumbledore figure. His is a very unexpected but welcome inclusion in this set, and it makes sense since he's mostly seen in the Hogshead in Hogsmeade. When it comes to the builds provided by the advent calendar, I'll admit I'm a bit underwhelmed by some. This six-piece bench, while potentially useful for your own Hogsmeade village at home, doesn't make for a very interesting build on its own. There's been so many brick-built snowmen over the years in LEGO advent calendars, and the design included here looks like it was from a city calendar in the 2000s. Nitpicks aside though, I really like these extra candy displays for Honeydukes. The new printed Hogwarts sign and Sirius Black wanted posters are great, and the trees and lampposts always work too. But I do need to point out that this is the smallest Harry Potter admin calendar to date, coming in at 227 pieces. Compare that to last year's 334. So I'm definitely not recommending this at its hefty retail price of 45 US dollars. Thankfully these tend to go on sale usually even before December begins and will likely be heavily discounted after Christmas. Even if the side bills aren't all that interesting to you, if you are a minifigure collector, you're going to enjoy this advent calendar. The calendars always do a good job with getting us brand new and exclusive minifigures or just giving us hard to find ones in an easier to get set. But let me know what you think, how does this calendar compare to the other four? By all means, go ahead and rank them even. That's all I've got for this one. Have yourself a great life, and I'll see you later.